When you sip on the sweet nectar of Appalachia, you turn into the drunk uncle at the cookout and wake up in another location. So today we're going to be exploring the best Nuka Shine blackout locations throughout Appalachia. I'm not ranking these locations by any means, but the last one is definitely the coolest and my favorite. So first up is an area just south of the mountainside bed and breakfast where you'll find a tightrope strung between two cliffs with a stage and seating for an audience. You can find the Nuka Shine bottle next to the tightrope on one of the sides and somehow I managed to like launch launch mine off the side of the cliff. What makes this location so cool is you can actually walk across the tightrope to the other side. Down below the tightrope you can find an unfortunate soul who seems to have lost their balance when they were on the rope. Dare yourself to walk across the rope and make it a great moment to strike a pose for a photo op. Next is an area north of Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm. Given the nickname The Game of Thrones, you'll find two drunken skelly boys who were battling it out old western style. A battle to the death on who can become the king of commodes, the sentinel of shitters, the Prince of Porcelain. Sorry, that's too many toilet references, but you can find the Nuka Shine bottle on the ground behind one of the toilets of the guys. But the question about this is, who got the last laugh? From there, we're going to make our way towards Vault 96. Now, along the road that leads into Vault 96, you'll find a tractor with an attached wagon. Upon looking closer, fans of Bethesda will experience deja vu when they realize that this is actually a reference to Bethesda's fan favorite, Skyrim. You can find the Nuka Shine bottle inside of the wagon next to the corpses and I actually have a YouTube short specifically for this easter egg. Looks like they didn't make it to the chopping block in time before the bombs fell. Next we're heading to an area just north of Autumn Acre Cabin. This is one of my favorite ones by far. You'll find a few murderous gnomes surrounding a skeleton with an axe. The teddy bear sitting in the lawn chair seems to be the leader of the gnome cult and more than likely was the judge on ending this poor skelly's life. You can find the Nuka Shine bottle for this location laying on a rock nearby. It's kind of hidden. Playing Fallout has taught me one thing. If the apocalypse happens and bombs Bombs come down, join a cult, simple. I'll survive. From there we're going to Johnson's Acre, located in the southern portion of Appalachia. You'll have to fight your way through the cultists to the top of the rock structure, and at the top is a skeleton catapult. That's right, a skeleton catapult. Pressing down the levers sends the skellies high into the sky off the mountain, like super far. You can find the Nuka Shine bottle for this location on a box next to the stockpile of ammo for the catapults. I mean, you gotta find something to do to pass the time and get rid of all the dead bodies in the wasteland, right? Next we're going to an area just south of the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. Walk along the river until you see a wrecked boat. On the boat you'll see a mutated dolphin and a skeleton with a blue bandana laying next to it. This is actually a reference to the movie Jaws and I also have an easter egg short on this but in Fallout 4 so it's nice to see it again in 76. Speaking of, if you haven't checked out my YouTube short series of Fallout easter eggs you should totally check it out and click subscribe as well while you're there. You can find the Nuka Shine bottle laying in the boat close to the dolphin slash shark. Okay from there we're gonna go to an area southeast of site Bravo Missile Silo. On the side of a cliff you'll find a flat rock face filled with chairs, tables with umbrellas, and assorted alcohol. This seems to be like the go-to place to drink and hang with the boys. They even have a basketball hoop for the beer bottles. You can find the Nuka Shine bottle on the table with the ham radio on it. I can't say I wouldn't hang with the boys on the side of a cliff, just saying, but from the looks of the skeletons here, I'd say at least the boys got to hang one last time. Next we're heading to an area located east of Tyler County Fairgrounds, the big ferris wheel on the map. This blackout location was really cool to find and it references a favorite story slash movie from my childhood. It's tea party time. You find a table with balloons set for a party with food and drinks and mismatched chairs. This is referencing the Mad Hatter's tea party in Alice in Wonderland. I also have another Fallout Easter egg on this one as well. Check it out. If you look on the table you'll find a Nuka Shine bottle for this location. Now I did save my personal favorite for the last one. This one is located just north of Sugar Grove. At this blackout location you'll find a skeleton wearing a scientist coat next to a shovel and a gas mask and next to that is a bunch of half-buried barrels with pre-war money laying on top of it. Now, if you haven't seen the TV series Breaking Bad, you probably don't get the reference, but basically the main character buries his drug money in the desert in a bunch of barrels. I know, I know, spoiler, sorry, it's only been out a decade or so. You can find the Nuka Shine bottle on the back of the truck that's next to the barrels. It seems like Walter White can't catch a break because he lost his money in both universes. If you stuck around to the end, consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. I'm working to reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year and you can help me reach my goal by clicking subscribe. Full videos come out each Friday and make sure to check out my Fallout Easter Egg short series and stay tuned for my next video.